What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the channel. Listen, I have built this channel off of reviewing primarily gaming headsets and now, thankfully, a lot of other things. But if you were to have asked me years ago, many years ago, hey, what do you use for gaming audio? I would have told you I just use a regular gaming headset. But inevitably, after reviewing so many different gaming headsets, I was introduced into the world of audiophile headsets. And today I want to talk to you about one of the absolute best audiophile gaming headsets out there. I'm sorry, it's not even a gaming headset. It's an audiophile headset that I'm using for gaming that has literally given me the best audio experience I have ever had. That, of course, is the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro. All right, so let's take a look at the DT770s right here. This thing is a very simple and elegant design right here. We've got a nice matte black finish, a uh, very durable plastic uh, surrounding the ear cups right here, nice metal frame for the headband and for the headset itself. Underneath the headband, we do have a slightly rigid feeling padding that's going on right here, but don't let that fool you. It's incredibly comfortable. You're hardly going to be able to tell that it's there. I've used these things for hours on end, and I've yet to feel any level of discomfort whatsoever. As far as the tension of the headset or the clamping force, if you will, uh, we have a lot of flexibility here, like quite a bit. You can damn near flatten this thing out. So that results in little to no tension on the user. Again, I've used this for hours on end and I can barely tell that they're there. It doesn't hurt, doesn't create any sort of discomfort whatsoever. We look at the ear pads and we have a nice circular shaped ear pad right here with some really, really nice fluffy padding. And I'll tell you right now that the one thing that really drew my attention to this headset, which is why I bought it, was the gray ear pads. They looked very interesting. They looked very comfortable. And I'm happy to report that they are indeed very comfortable. And not only that, they're very breathable. So I'm not getting any sort of sweaty buildup when I'm using these headsets for an extended period of time. And as far as the build's concerned, y'all, for 180 bucks, I think we get a pretty solid headset. When playing video games, and this, these are some of the games that I've played to give you an idea, right? So I've played uh, Hogwarts Legacy, God of War Ragnarok, Elden Ring, Dead Space Remake, PUBG, Call of Duty Warzone. I've played a, a variety of different games that have a variety of different levels of sound design. This headset sounds awesome it sounds amazing okay i look at a game like PUBG or call of duty warzone or any other competitive shooter i'm judging the headset's ability to deliver on its sound stage and what that means is that am i able to tell where gunshots are coming from where footsteps are coming from where other audible cues that that really can make the difference between sometimes winning or losing with the dt770 pro and other audiophile headsets like it you're able to hear these things these cues far more in advance that allows you the player to have enough time to react accordingly and that to me is worth its weight in gold especially if you take your competitive play seriously maybe you're not a competitive multiplayer uh player right maybe you enjoy yourself a nice single player experience and when it comes to that man this headset kills it okay I'm talking the spell effects from Hogwarts Legacies, all the different little audio effects that are going on as well while you're playing the game, the dialogue and, and listening Father. to the conversations between Kratos and Atreus and God of War Ragnarok, clashing of steel in a game like The Witcher 3, the PS5 update, right? Or even Elden Ring. It all sounds incredible. And the soundtracks for each one of these games, there are things, there are nuances that I hear playing these games with the DT770 Pro that you just don't get in a gaming headset. And the most criminal thing about these gaming headsets is that some of them cost as much as this, if not more. And you gotta be asking yourself, and you should ask yourself, what am I actually getting when I pay upwards of $200 for a high-end premium gaming headset? And I'm gonna tell you the ugly truth. You're not getting your money's worth. What you're really getting when you buy a gaming headset for the most part, and there are exceptions to the rule, of course, is you're getting a pair of drivers to deliver sound, a very cheap and trash microphone, and more often than not nowadays, software to really deliver and drive the sound that the headset should be putting out. The DT770 Pro, again, I bought it $180 at Micro Center here in Houston. You can find it for as cheap as $160. There are gaming headsets that cost two, $250, $300 or more and don't deliver the level of sound quality that this headset does for almost half the price, depending on what you go with. I'm looking at you, Astros. If you're looking to really upgrade the experience that you get out of your game's audio, it might be time to break away from the traditional gaming headsets. Anyways, those are my thoughts on the DT770 Pro. I think this headset is probably one of the, the best that I've ever used. And I know, or I feel like I say that about a lot of headsets and a lot of things, but the, th the thing is, is that as I continue to try out more things, I discover 
more greatness out there. And this is just one of those instances because prior to this headset, it was the Audio-Technica ATH GDO3s and I still stand by those headsets. Those are damn good headsets for the price. But for the extra 70 bucks or $60 difference between these two, between the DT770 Pros and the GDO3s, this headset absolutely delivers. I feel like every single penny I spent using to buy this headset has been absolutely worth it and then some. So hope y'all found the video informative, educational, helpful, what have you. If you have this headset or if you don't have this headset, you have any questions or any comments, let me know what you think about this below. Until next time, y'all be good to yourselves, be good to one another. Peace out.